My name is Benny Wenda. I'm leader of the independent movement based in the UK and leader of the Kochega Tribal Assembly and also ex-political prisoner. West Papua is a, uh, is a western half of the New Guinea Island. It's just 500 kilometers north of Australia. Um, this is fighting for 50 years. It's longer, longer as a fight for the colonialism. Um, Indonesia colonized my people nearly 50 years. And Indonesia killed half of the population. 500 uh, men and women and children has been killed since they occupied 1963. And until I'm talking now, the West Papua is still uh, killing imprisonment and, and uh, torture, rape, um, also burn their villages, and every leader has been killed. And also journalists are banned, totally banned, from 1963 until today. And uh, there is a two French journalists who were arrested on uh, 6th of August, and uh, two d yesterday they, they've been released. And, charged the five years. So this is ongoing um, situations and uh, nobody knows what really happened and what really going on, what really going on in West Papua. So, uh, so that is the, that's why I'm trying to highlight this campaign to, to educate the world, especially in the United Kingdom and the other part of the Europe and Australia and America and in Caribbean Africa in South America, that's what I'm doing. I always call a little South Africa in the Pacific and in, 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 in West Papua because the discrimination every day and racism, discriminations and also imprisonments and rape and it's every day and the, the people are really um, mentally they discriminated and mentally they're really scared and physically you can see the Papua and the on the street smile but mentally they are intimidated and everyday life you cannot go freely uh, go to hunting or gardening or fishing is everywhere you go as a military post everywhere you go you have to bring the identity you have to report every uh, military post and this is situations in, it's like the middle of the war in, in West Papua. It's an almost militarized zone in the Asia Pacific. Um, so that's why uh, the world not seen what really happening in West Papua. I fight this struggle, it's not be, not hobby, not uh, make fun or not make me as fam famous or well known, but because this struggle is it's part of the, my life, I witness it myself. And uh, I, when I was a child, my auntie was raped in front of my eye. My mom was beating up and fell down, you know, with a gun button bleeding and bruising. I witnessed myself and I was um, five years in the booth hiding and my village was bombed and my leg was broken. That's all those, you know, in, in, in me. So that's why when I grow up and then um, I seen my people are uh, beating up like animals and then how can human being to do other people. I know my own experience when I live there and uh, even um, I'm here, I'm communicated 24 hours, you know, day and night, 24 hours. And 95% uh, of my people are want to independence. And 5% uh, who are those that immigration, uh, immigrants and some West Papua are working for Indonesia. But they always tell me that we are in prison, Benny. We are all of my friends are working the government. Benny, you know that we are in the prisons. We are just watching you what you're doing. One day we have opened the door and we, we will we will vote for independence. That's always tell me. And um, until today, all the new generation are, are, are coming out on the street, demonstration peacefully. And this is led by Kain Pebe, Committee National Papua. It's a group of the students and activists and young all coming out and what happening, what they seen it, what happening, what going on in internationally, what I'm doing. So they also give inspire them and also they give me uh, feedback from there, inspire me as well. So that's why all the Free West Papua campaign team here in Oxford, everywhere we are, um, they're working together to highlight this issue.
One other thing that is even the military, militarily, the Indonesia is powerful and that they, they call themselves. But it's, it's without any support from internationally, they are very weak. That's why I always believe that people power will change. Uh, there's a lot of examples. South Africa, uh, people thought apartheid very powerful and they are really uh, powerful. But because of people power, and the ordinary people in the United Kingdom put pressure on the, the British government to, to, uh, to look at the situation. And also, there's a lot of around the world, in Africa and everywhere, put pressure on the, the South African government and uh, apartheid government. And they eventually, they got their freedom. And so also British Empire, Russia Empire collapsed because of people power, people are talking. Now, in my experience last ten, yeah, eight, nine years now, and um, this campaign is growing and the people are build up their support, especially new generation, especially the young generation. There is open mind there and uh, this is only last um, 21st century at the West Papua is a fighting colonialism. And we're talking about end of the slavery and of the colonialism, but West Papua still exists this 21st century. And mostly people in Australia are finding out what going on, what happening, because t uh, 12 years ago, Indonesia also massacred East Timor. You know, East Timor is a part of Indonesia. They have now they got independent. This is their own experience supporting East Timorese people. Now they're free. So that's why I hope this will change. And that's my belief, the people power. And now in people, United Kingdom now, from Scotland to, you know, in England, Wales, and people are, are growing support. So that's my belief in my change. The Papuans are, they are the very, very peacefully, very, very nice people. They always smile. They always, uh, you know, always. I, wherever I go, I, I love my people because they're very simple. They're not really materialistic, but they really, uh, always respect the nature, respect the river, respect the mountain. That's as simple as that. And also, they really want independence because they they see in Indonesia is a killer. They not only killing my people, but they destroy our environment, destroy our forest, destroy our mountain, destroy our river. Because my people always depending on the nature, depending on the forest. That's why they see it. Indonesia is like um, trying to um, destroy livelihood and also their identity, also their culture. That's why they always believe that one day they will be free. And that's their, my belief. 